Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and we've got a lot to cover today, and so I'm going to go through it pretty quickly. I hope you can keep up with everything, and I apologize if we run through it too quickly. Um, so I want to quickly go over this whole uh, Ethereum using Bitcoin Cash again. Um, so what we see here, one of the things that they've actually talked about, and this is kind of why I think it's important that people understand that Digibyte is based originally off of the Bitcoin Core codebase. Uh, it was actually the Litecoin codebase, but we've since uh, done more development that has moved us closer towards the Bitcoin codebase. Anyway, so what they say here is one of the reasons why they would look at potentially using Bitcoin Cash is they say here, uh, we already have the machinery that we need to verify Bitcoin Cash blocks inside of Ethereum thanks to BTC Relay. We just need to repoint it to the BCH chain and turn it back on. So basically, they've already got the the code and the servers and everything that they need to to use Ethereum uh, with Bitcoin and to store this additional data on the Bitcoin blockchain. The problem is, is that they mention uh, that, that Bitcoin's basically full, it's not going to help them. So if we go down these proposals down here, we see things like people are proposing Steam. Uh, if we keep going down a little bit further down here, we have... Uh, Dash also gets recommended. Uh, one of the key things though in my recommendation is that we are basically uh, a one-to-one -one drop in for the most part compared to these other ones that, that are likely not. So where it comes to Steam up here, they would have to do a lot of additional work, a lot of additional development in order to actually get things working specifically with Steam. Whereas if they are currently working with the Bitcoin blockchain, the amount of work to actually implement Digibyte is very, very, very minimal, very minimal. Um, and so, so that's why, I mean, I think there are some additional things down here as well. They talk about, yeah, Dash again, uh, and a few other bits and pieces. It's, it's this key kind of part, which I, let's click on this and we'll quickly bring it up even. I actually mentioned this a little bit in the, in, in here, that because we are uh, based on Bitcoin, it's going to be easier for them. And, and because everybody works with Bitcoin, that's a real advantage for us that I think we need to start capitalizing on more often. Um, so one of the uh, bit of behind the scenes things that I want to let people know about is when we reach out to places, sometimes it doesn't always go quite so well. Now, uh, like I've just mentioned, the, the effort involved in implementing Digibyte, if you already have Bitcoin support, is very minimal. Uh, we've actually done a pretty good job in terms of getting documentation together, explaining the differences to people. We have an integration guide, which you can see at dgbwiki.com, which kind of helps new projects to get started with us, especially if they have been using Bitcoin previously. Um, so we've actually uh, gone and I, I personally reached out to these guys, Blockchair, to ask them if they would be interested in supporting uh, Digibyte as well. They already work with Bitcoin. Cool. We're the, basically the same. Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, SV, Dogecoin, and Grosslocoin. So they're all based off that same Bitcoin core code base. Uh, so that would basically mean that to, to implement Digibyte would be very minimal in terms of the effort. So Blockchair themselves are kind of similar, I suppose, to our Explorer that we have here. So this is the Digi Explorer. Uh, we've also got a, a slightly updated one that is being worked on at the moment uh, to, to kind of revamp it and make it look uh, a lot more in line with the, the mobile applications. So this is what it is going to look like soon. You can see we've got details here about the assets and things as well, blocks, transactions. Uh, if we go back here as well, this is what it currently looks like on Digi Explorer. And actually, why don't we go and we'll grab a, let's grab a transaction and actually that's not going to work because they don't have support for us. Ah, ha, ha. Um, but this is, this is blockchain. This is basically, uh, they're, they're, they're effectively an explorer that adds additional graphing and things. Anyway, now, unfortunately they've come back and they've basically said that they want 20,000 US dollars in order to do this. I've basically said that I'm not willing to go to the community to ask them to fundraise $20,000. It's a lot of money. Uh, especially when we already have great things like this. And in fact, what I can even do, let me bring up another, I believe. I'll put this in here as well. So this is the uh, Trezor Blockbook Explorer, which again is uh, something that was was basically done and we, we didn't have to pay for, for Trezor to do the implementation. Uh, somebody from the community came and helped us out, um, and and there's no ongoing payment for for this particular Trezor support. 
Um, but yeah, so Blockchair unfortunately are wanting twenty thousand dollars, and I've basically gone back to them and said, look, we've got we've got Blockbook, uh, we've got our existing Digi Explorer, we're even revamping it to make it look super sexy. So I'm not going to go back to the community and try and fundraise twenty thousand dollars. I personally think we'd be far better off spending that kind of money if we were to fundraise on development or on basically anything else at this point in time. Um, so unfortunately, that's a door that's likely to close. Um, that's okay. We're not we're not here to burn any bridges or anything. But specifically, just wanted to kind of let you know it doesn't always it doesn't always pan out, and and that's okay. Um, one of the things though that has panned out though is Exodus. So back in the day, I actually had to run a server for Exodus uh, in order for them to uh, start supporting Digibyte. I ran that for uh, around about six months myself. They then took over and started running their own after they saw what a huge success Digibyte is and how great things were going for them, how many people were using it. Um, so I'm really, really happy that Exodus have now announced that we are on Exodus Mobile, uh, which is awesome. So this is on Android and also on iOS as well. Um, and what we'll do here as well is, oh, you can see here they've even got our lovely uh, logo on the main advertisement. Um, so if we go to this Get Exodus, uh, you can get it on the App Store, you can get it on the Play Store, and it's a really, really pretty wallet. It, it just looks gorgeous as well. I love the kind of the darker sort of theme, very similar to what we have with our wallet as well. I think it fits in quite nicely, um, but they've also got some interesting little graphs here, which are quite cool uh, for tracking the uh, value of your portfolio compared to US dollar, for example. Um, so this has been great, uh, especially to see the, the Digibyte logo there front and center as well. So thank you to the Exodus team for this uh, and for their continued support for Digibyte. Um, and speaking of our logo being front and center as well, this is now the second time that Digibyte will be on the front page of the standard catalog of cryptocurrencies. This is the, the second year running now for normal books uh, crypto catalog, basically. Um, and yeah, it's just it's really cool to see that Digibyte is basically on the front page here front and center being recognized and and being shown off like that um so again i want to thank uh normal books for this um so just a real quick update today i know that we've covered a lot i wanted to give you a bit of an insight some things going really good bit of a bummer about blocks here not everything works out it's their own product they're not obliged to add us but we're, we're obviously making great progress with things like exodus now adding support for digibyte on their new mobile application is fantastic stuff. Uh, again, really grateful for the team there. So again, um, if you have any questions, feel free to sing out below. You can tweet me. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. See you tomorrow. Cheers.